Hey. Uh, okay, I believe I'm recording. Hey, Sea Milk. Yeah. Aren't you sick and tired of like? Ah, never mind that that noise. But aren't you <laughs> sick and tired of this whole five thousand years of history thing? Well, it's actually like eight thousand years now. They've revised this. Okay, um, but I mean, can you yes. can you bring it up? Why do we hear this this term five thousand years of history so often? This is like the common rhetoric, or it's like a common like thing that Chinese people say to tell other cultures that theirs is longer, therefore better than theirs. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a low key diss, like a humble brag or some crap. Yeah. Um, and you'll hear it all the time. So basically, they'll be like, "Well, America has so many guns because we have five thousand years of history, so we're more peaceful. We learn peace, right?" Um, our language is 5,000 years of history because, you know, we have a deep and long culture and long history, right? All, right. All this kind of stuff. Um, and it's it's thrown around as like a, a way to, like I said, brag. It is. It's, right? it's literally just a, a tool to say that, that they understand something more, that they're better. Sure. Right? Hmm. Now, before we get into this, like why that's actually nonsense. Yeah. I have another thing that people don't usually bring up. What's that? What about like Egyptian history? Because China keeps going on about how they're the oldest people in the world, like the oldest culture. I think it's continuous because Egyptian, like Egypt, I guess, kind of stopped for a while or changed or something. Okay, what about European history? All these places, it's not like we weren't human beings 5,000 years ago, right? Right. There right. was some semblance of history or culture, right? And my point is that they keep saying China has been around for 5,000 or 8,000 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because the freaking nation states existed back then. Yeah. Like it wasn't some just random, con barely formed conglomeration of, of nothing. Sure, you know? sure. Yeah. So that's I mean, that's that's just something that people don't usually bring up. It's not like nice I really litter. feel like kids in China think it was like a map of China five thousand years ago and it said Zhongguo in the middle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know what I mean? Sure. Anyway, um, why don't you talk about why this argument about China's better because of it five thousand years of history doesn't actually make sense? Yeah, I'm going to start by saying first of all, I call absolute BS on this five thousand years of history thing for a number of reasons. And the first reason being that China is only about 70 years old. Right. Okay. And even if you look it up, the new China was formed by Mao Zedong in whatever, 1949, 49. was it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is China. That is how long China has been around. And uh, as far as history is concerned, there's only about 70 years of history here because one thing that Chairman Mao did was he did this massive purge where he went and he told everyone that the old stuff was bad right. and go and destroy it. And so they did. They tore down temples, they burned all the historical documents, all these beautiful old scrolls of their history burnt, destroyed, okay? Right. It, they lost all of their culture. So it is only 70 years worth of history now and culture because it's gone. Right. Um, it's gone, it's so bad that, remember I talked about this, but Chinese doctors who need to study traditional Chinese medicine actually have to go and study in Japan because Jap Japan actually preserved the recipes and the scrolls of traditional Chinese medicine and in China all of those like really advanced important things were burned and lost right. okay so as far as culture is concerned anyone who's coming around saying 5,000 years of history and culture is nonsense because literally there's only 70 years of culture left in China sure it had to start from scratch literally from scratch right. you know right um, yes but anyway, um, what I wanted to point out is that even if you do have 5,000 years of history, it doesn't mean that you're better at doing anything. Right. Um, it doesn't make sense. A, a length of time of doing something doesn't make you better at it. Right, right. I mean, if you've got, uh, let's just say you um, um, have carnal relations with goats sure. for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make you more civilized than a person who has not ever had carnal relations with goats. Yeah, it's still a bad ad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, quite honestly, we can just go out and say it. Spitting, right? Okay. Um, spitting is disgusting. 
Does yeah. anyone, if anyone wants to tell me that spitting out a, a phlegm loogie in a shopping mall is civilized, right? Correct. Then you're incorrect. So Correct. why is this uh, so-called 5,000 years of history not ever taught anyone to stop spitting in public places? Sure. You know, that uh, just shows you it's, it's a, a stupid argument. Maybe it you is. can expand on that a bit. So if you could do the spitting thing, it's not only that that culture shouldn't have taught them not to do it. It was embraced by the culture because for a very, very long time, at least, I don't even know how long this goes back, but it's going to be for a while. They think that expelling that phlegm and waste yeah. is actually a good thing. And I hear my father-in-law do it every single morning. Oh, so and gross. It's gross, but at least he's not doing it out you yeah. know, in public. But anyway, um, that expulsion of that kind of stuff was it was actually celebrated you sure. know, for the longest time. That's that's what you're supposed to do, right? So your point basically is just because history and culture tells you something is the way that we do things and that's correct and that's the advanced way to do things doesn't mean it's correct, right? So if we look at China as a whole, of course we can say there's like Confucian elements. There's little elements here and there, but by and large, it's all gone. So correct. hypocrisy aside, we have to start looking at the things that they're claiming to do better than others and maybe refuse some of these things, okay? Sure, sure, absolutely. The way that top-down government works through the dynasties, right? Mm -hmm. The emperor, like, whatever, sits up at the top and he's like, purge this land and grab this one, right? Right. It's the way that China's been running since the dawn of time, right. if we can call it, you know, a, a unified country. and. We've proven throughout history that that system is, is flawed and sure. doesn't work, right? So how can you claim that this deep culture that has been destroyed and cannibalized and even conquered by people like the Mongols and stuff who replaced your history? Right, right. How is that a, how is that a sustainable history that you can start pushing on the rest of the world as being the most advanced? I, I, I just don't get it. Sure. Other than the fact that it's just very clearly a propaganda tool. Of to make people is. think that a porcelain bowl that they dug up is some somehow indicative of like a more decadent and, and pro like progressive society or like more advanced society than that we had in the West or something. Right, right, right. Whoa, it's this whole whoa. collective attitude. Correct. Oh, um, there, there is something to be said uh, about Chinese culture and Chinese history, right? Okay, we're clear. Let's go. Um, don't reverse onto a main road, you dumbass. Uh, you, you've got to look at the positives, right? And China was incredibly advanced a long time ago. Right. You know, like I said, porcelain, China, silk, right, right. the compass. Right. Uh, they claim to have developed paper and the printing press. Sure. Um, and, you know, whether they did or not, doesn't matter. They had that technology a long time ago. Sure. Those are absolute achievements of human ingenuity and uh, it's something to be proud of absolutely right however you have all this nonsense that's happened in between lots of things getting wiped out lots of other stuff and a lot of bad things too sure. just because your culture has been around for a very long time doesn't make you more superior than other people in fact if you look at China just 40 50 years ago you are absolutely the worst place to be it was one of right. the worst places to live with everyone starving and it's terrible crap going on of right. course they'll blame it on um, you know the years of humiliation or whatever Fair you know what I mean Fair it's enough. it's a stupid stupid argument to go and say because of a length of time that your culture's been around that you're more superior right. um, you know it's kind of like a, a a skinny kid is getting beat, beaten up by a strong bully right yeah. and the skinny kids like well I've been in this class longer than you have it doesn't matter right. you're still weaker and being beaten up by a bully you know right. what I mean right, right, Stup right. stupid analogy but that's what I'm trying to get at here is that um, if you want to claim any kind of uh, superiority it has to be done through proving yourself sure right how about you do something um, to then claim afterwards like actually be able to bask in the glory of what you've done Right. Okay. Not just like take credit for something that happened a long time ago. But this also just touches on something else. Um, a little bit of a side here is the fact that the Chinese people in general 
are very proud of things that they've never done themselves. Sure, you sure. know, it's a collectivist society, and so it's kind of like if a if a dude somewhere in the middle of China did something, all of a sudden they claim it for themselves. It's like, oh look what we, we did. did, look this, what right? I did. Look, it's like a, yeah. an NBA player that was born and raised in America, yeah. but is Chinese ethnicity now it becomes China's pride. Yeah, exactly. Right. Whereas. Um, in the West, it's more of an individual thing, and someone wins a Nobel Peace Prize or something, or someone uh, invents something, and they'll be like, "Wow, this dude's awesome!" You know what not I mean? This country is yeah, awesome. Yeah, not like I'm. Oh, you know, like Elon Musk is South African, right? Right. So he invents Tesla. I'm not going around saying, "Look how, look how freaking awesome our, I am." Our South African. Yeah, because <laughs> look, look. I mean, if it wasn't for me, uh, you know, you wouldn't have electric cars. You know. Sure. It's sure. not just a bunch it's of the nonsense. same logic. Yeah, right? it is. It is. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where I was going with that. Uh, sure. <laughs> anything you'd like to add? Yeah. Last last point is that. Um, mm. You know, we've we've established why they do this, right? Mm -hmm. But an issue that I think a lot of countries have with China, and I think a lot of countries that are on this Belt and Road thing, yeah, um, are going to start having is that this superiority complex about this 5,000 years of history and how they're the most advanced culture in the world. Yeah, it again uses a national lens, which doesn't make sense. So a lot of times I'll hear Chinese people say, oh, Amer Amer "You America, so young." So yeah. young, no history, right? Oh, You're right. only like 300 years old, blah, blah, They yeah. say this, right? Sure. As if, as if a nation state isn't comprised of multiple bits of culture and history. Sure. So now I have absolutely nothing to do with Europe because I'm from America. Sure. All of that stuff is completely wiped out and I have no tendencies or religious beliefs or anything right. in my culture. It has nothing to do with Europe according to them because sure. they look at a nation's history. But by the same logic, guys, you're 70. Sure. All right. Absolutely. That doesn't actually make any sense because you're talking about a physical government nation state. So you're you're literally younger than America. Yeah. And I don't really care about that because obviously other things build a culture and build a society. But that logic doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. It's just like South Africa is older than America, right? Sure. Um, but it's definitely not a better country. It's way worse. It's a piece of crap. You know. Right. In right. comparison to America, I don't care what anyone says. It's just there's empirical evidence. Just go and look for yourself. Right. Take a trip down to South Africa and spend a couple weeks there. Sure. And if you emerge alive and unraped, then you can go to America <laughs> and spend a couple weeks there and tell me, you know, which country's better. Even though okay. South Africa's older, right? Sure. <laughs> so the you can't age, look at, yeah. the I mean, age honestly, of a country, yeah. By that, the same logic. Okay, I'm. I have the longest culture in the world because I evolved from people in like Central Africa. My culture is like 400,000 years old. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. And all land was made at the same time. It's <laughs> right. not like one piece of rock over there in China right. is older than a, a piece of rock in Africa. It's all the Although same. Chinese Chinese people do claim to have evolved from a different man yeah. in China, did you the see, Chinese man. Did you see that thing where the guy did a, like a test? Yeah. And he yeah, was yeah. severely disappointed to find out that Chinese people actually share the same DNA as other other races. It yep. was so funny. Well, yeah. I mean, that should have been debunked ages ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's that's what we're saying. I don't want it to sound like sour. It's just really <laughs> dumb logic. It's stupid. Five thousand years of history. I will never. And I've, uh, of course, if you go to Taiwan and Hong Kong and and Japan, even you see parts of that old culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. lost. Right. And right. there is so much good in the old Chinese culture. It's sure. just a pity that you will never find it in China. Right, you know, unless there's some resurgence. Yeah, yeah, unless it's brought back from another country. Sure. You know? Oh, it's such a pity. Anyway, um, anything you'd like to tell our subscribers before we sign off? I think communism is freaking terrible. Me too. <laughs> um, and it breeds it, bad drivers. It, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, and communist drivers are the worst. They are. That's is, is that is that like a like a what is that? It's not racist. It's like a, a governmentist or something. I think Ideologist. It, it's one of those things where it's an equality um, of outcome type thing. So everybody has to drive it just as badly as everyone else. And sure. if anyone drives well, they'll get punished. Right. Anyway. Yeah. What if you? Uh, what do you guys think in the comment section? I want you guys to tell us what this culture actually means to you. Is it? Does it? Is it meaningless? Or can people go around and claim some ancient history because of our bloodline? Right. Um, I'm actually quite curious what you guys think. Leave a like if you did like this video. Yeah. And subscribe if you want to see more. I'm choking. Uh, yeah. This is pretty pretty. This awful. is almost the worst pollution I've ever seen. 
Oh, I've seen worse in Beijing. In Beijing, yeah. yeah but absolutely. But this yes. is up there. Oh, look, Oppo. We may as well be in China right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah, dude, seriously, sorry. But if you do believe that uh, 5,000 years of history, which you personally had nothing to do with, makes you better than someone who comes from a place that has less years of so-called claimed history um we love you all the same <laughs> but still still think you're a bit dumb you know <laughs> um, but as always uh, you know the drill guys stay awesome don't forget guys every single monday at 1 p.m eastern standard time go watch adv china you can actually watch another one right here every single wednesday at 1 p.m eastern standard time go check out loudy six and right below that you can watch serpents today every single friday at 1 p.m eastern standard time thanks <laughs>